The sun rose over the Dior mountain range as the elfin and centaur fleets headed south toward Solaris. Rush, Spark, Faith, and Feather prepared to leave Allsoar. Spark, if you want to stay behind, you can. We won't blame you, Rush said. He passed his bag to a crew member from the crystal airship as Spark picked up her bow and arrows. No, I should be out there with you, Spark replied. Are you sure you want to? Faith asked. I'm coming with you, and that's final, Spark answered. She stormed up the boarding slope and into her quarters. Faith, I would like you to keep an eye on her while we're out there, please, Rush said. Don't worry, I will, Faith replied. She smiled at Rush and ran up the boarding slope after Spark. I guess I will see you when this is all finished, Rush said. He shook hands with the mayor and began to board the crystal airship. Good luck, Ozma shouted. We're going to be needing a lot more than luck, Rush whispered. The boarding slope closed up as Rush walked into the control room. Are we ready to leave now? the captain asked. Yeah, everyone is ready, Rush answered. Head toward Solaris. When we reach the rest of the fleet, inform me, the captain said. The crystal airship ascended up off the landing pad. The crystal engines, which were the fastest of any airship, thrusted them through the sky. Yes, sir. We will arrive there within the hour, the pilot replied. Captain, once we have met up with the rest of the fleet... "'Could you fly us over the capital?' Rush asked. They walked down to the observation deck. The crystal airship soared over the Marger Ocean, away from Olsoar. "'Yes, but wouldn't you prefer that we land?' the captain answered. "'No. If we can parachute into the capital while the humans and shadow soldiers are busy, we can get in and cure the Master Crystal quickly, rather than fighting our way through,' Rush said. The communications officer burst out of the communications room in front of the captain and Rush. Captain, we have a transmission coming through, he said. Who is it from? The captain asked. He and Rush marched into the communication room and saw a hologram of the king appeared. It's from the king, sir, the communication officer answered. Play the transmission, the captain said. We have reached the coast of Solaris and have already come under fire from the shadow airships. When we landed our troops on the ground, they were surrounded by humans almost immediately. How long until the cure will be administered? The king asked. The crystal airship reached the coast of Solaris and came under fire from shadow airships. The sky was filled with fire from both types of airships. Forty Sunaral royal airships landed on the beaches, while both elves and Suntars departed and headed straight into battle with the humans. I think we have just arrived. Rush and his team will be leaving when we arrive over the capital, the captain replied to the king. Okay. Once they have left for the city, come back and hold back the shadow airships, the king said. The hologram disappeared. The captain marched out of the communications room and into the control room. Captain! We have arrived at Solaris, and the rest of the fleet are already here. What should we do now? the pilot asked. Take us over the capital. <laughs>